Hey readers. So today we are going to learn a little bit more about some strategies for Because of Winn-Dixie. So last week we learned about character traits. Character traits describe what the character is like or their personality. So when we look at character traits, we are noticing how the character talks and acts, which is super important. And then we study observations to grow an idea. So we're really studying that character and seeing if our idea about them continues to grow. When we read our books, we notice patterns about characters. We know how they will think, act, and what they'll say. So you really want to look at that idea, the patterns that you find in each chapter, and then what's your theory about them? What is that pattern that you keep noticing? As we notice patterns, we develop theories about the characters. We ask ourselves, why might the, why might the character be this way? Then we think, my bigger idea about the character is, so you're coming up with a theory. You think this because, why? Because probably you've noticed all of these patterns throughout the chapter so far. So using patterns from the characters, we can predict what will happen next in the story. We can say, I know blank, so I predict blank. So let's try this together. We know one of Opal's character traits is having a big heart. I know Opal has a big heart, so I predict she will be very friendly towards everyone she meets. I also predict she will take very good care of Lynn Dixie. So I want you to give it a try today with either Opal, Lynn Dixie, the preacher, after you have listened to the story, the read aloud for chapter five, you will respond on this template. And I want you to make sure that you put your character. So you're going to say, I know Opal because, where's it at? I know Opal, so I predict that she will take great care of Winn Dixie or whatever you think fits for chapter five. And what do you think is going to happen next? Have fun.